Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. For today we're going to be outside in the greenhouse, watering the succulents and cleaning up the greenhouse. Let's get on to it. Here I am outside and I notice that there is some water on top of my little plastic thingy so I, will, I go ahead and get that water out of there so I don't splash myself or I don't get wet while I try to go inside my greenhouse. And so now I'm just trying to figure out if I want to take my succulents out and I really do want to because it feels really humid outside. I, know. I have this little, this little plant here and um... Looks like it has maybe like mold on it and it doesn't seem very strong. Um, so I'm gonna have to watch out for this one. Here I have one of my propagating trays and I'm actually taking some of the leaves out because they have been dried out, they have been burnt uh, due to the overexposure of sun and um, I'm just removing those and I'm getting ready to get some more room available for even more Graptobtellum leaf cuttings because those are my ultimate favorite right now. So this little topsy-turvy has some black stuff growing inside, it looks like. I don't know if it's mold. It kind of comes off, but Ugh. I'm getting worried about this one. I know I should cut it. I think I'm going to cut it right now. <laughs> and also it's been raining for like, it was. it's been raining a lot. So I feel like that might be also why that's happening. Oh my goodness, guys. A horrible thing has happened. I'm trying to move this. And I'm, I was just trying to remove all the little plants. And it keeps on breaking off. Oh my gosh. It just needs water right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. So here you can see that I am feeding my cotyledon some water and I actually haven't fed this plant in about two maybe two to three weeks I'd say more and so it definitely needed some water I really don't like this anymore because I can't really handle it or anything and I know it's gonna survive if I just dump it somewhere and it's just gonna thrive because that's how I actually found it I found it actually just in the street but I really don't want to deal with it, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and dump it towards the back where there's a lot of free soil and free range soil so it can grab on uh, some, some soil on the roots and definitely uh, survive, so yeah. I had valuable rocks, like volcano rocks, but I'll get them later. It really doesn't matter right now. So take a look. Some of them have already been watered, but the majority of them haven't.
time for this one. I felt like it wasn't ready to be watered because it feels a little bit heavy. And not only that, I watered it, um, I think it was a week ago. And I watered it really, really good. And now, because of the watering, these are becoming to are, are emerging. So the little stems are emerging, the little blooms. And so this will eventually flower. So it looks like I'm going to get four flowers. And I'm super excited about that. Super excited. But I just wanted to give you like an overall view of my collection right now. This is it. And I also have some propagating. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that as well. Here I'm showing you an overview of my current succulent collection and I really like to see overviews because succulents are one of my favorite things in the world and whenever you see them together it just makes my day. So here I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like and um, this is definitely uh, something that needs to be improved a little bit and I will get there. There we go. You can go ahead and see there. Oh my god, there's tons of mosquitoes. And I went ahead and took all my succulents out of the greenhouse because it is really humid in there because it's been humid and raining all this week. And so I decided, hey, you should really get your succulents out of there before they start molding and getting all this type of bacteria on them. And that is what they look like at the moment. They're looking really, really good, nice and healthy, like they should be right as summer starts. Some of them look a little bit like they're they're flopping, but I might I think they just need more sunlight. So I need to move those. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the propagating station um, after I zoom in here for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and clean one of them off because it has a spider web on it. This one right here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and clean off all of the excess spider webs. And then there is a nest, I believe, and the mama in here. So she knows we're in. All right, so we got her off, and there are some eggs, so we're just gonna go ahead and destroy those and um, get some, get it nice and pretty, get all those those nasty ones out of there. And, uh, damn, this is quite an elaborate web in here. Ah! There's a freaking mosquito on my eyelash. What the hell do you want to do in there? Fucking crazy. Oh, it happened again. It looks like it's attracted to my freaking sweat or something. Oh my, they're like baby fucking, uh... They're like baby little spiders. They're running for their lives. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have picked a better spot. I noticed that this grept patellum also has some spider webs and uh, there's a lot of leaves that are somewhat loose at the very bottom of every rosette so I decided to propagate some of those leaves and put them in my trays so I can have even more of those beautiful succulents available in my greenhouse for me to enjoy and of course you guys as well station here and I basically have three trays I need to redo one tray and then um, I need to get all of those succulents into their own little containers and um, completely replace all of the soil that's on there and then place new leaf cuttings so I can have more succulents but below that are the two inch pots that I already repotted here 
so as you can see, there is uh, quite a few little baby succulents that are growing very, very quickly. And I went ahead and watered them today, so they're nice and full. And I'm super excited for them to grow. And here I have some more cacti and succulents on the side growing there. And um, definitely my two cacti. This one's like a roller coaster type of species. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. And uh, this one is definitely a Christmas cactus. The majority of the leaves that I propagated, or the majority of the leaves that the majority of the leaves that I decided to propagate are um, Aeoniums and Echeverias, uh, uh, Graptopatellums as well. And um, these are mostly the Graptopatellums. There are some Echeveria ones at the very edge, the very tiny baby ones, and then more Graptopatellums here that I just planted in today because um, some of them dried up completely, so I went ahead and made room for them. And um, I feel like some of them are not going to bloom for me. So Alright, so... I can go ahead and give you a close-up up here. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below any of your feedback. I'll see you in the next video. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my content. I'll see everyone later. Until next time, happy propagating, everybody. <sighs> that was a little weird. Music is my caffeine.